forever and ever. Yes. To him there is no end. Can I get a witness? Heaven and earth shall pass away. But our almighty God shall never, never pass away. Amen. He is from everlasting to everlasting. He is the everlasting God. Amen. If you love it, put your hands together for the Lord this morning. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Yes, He is. And how we magnify Him and how we lift His name in praise. Amen. Amen. And uh, the fact of the Lord is. The fact of the knowing is that we serve an everlasting God. Amen. He's everlasting to everlasting to him. There is no end. And man, he, he gives us the fact to know that because he tells us that not only do we have him to have confidence in. Amen. amen. But the fact of our confidence is in knowing that he is just one prayer away. Can I get a witness? God is just one prayer away. Amen. And the good part about that I like is that you don't have to have no major thing to talk to him about. You can just go to him. Can I get a witness? And let him know that you need him. Amen. And so, the fact of knowing that we need him, how many know we need him every day? We need him every day, we need him every hour, amen. And just the fact of knowing that we need him, amen, he tells us in Hebrews that now we can come boldly to the throne of grace, where we can find grace and help. I'm glad he threw that help in there with that and. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Help, bless, grace, and help at the time of our need. Amen. And so we want to go to the Lord, amen, in prayer, knowing that, amen, he is truly a prayer answering God. There's nothing that he cannot do. There's no problem too large or small that God will not undertake. Can I get a witness? Amen. He will hear, the song says, your faintest cry, and he will answer. Can I get a witness? How many know he'll answer today? Hallelujah. He'll answer by and by. Amen. And so as we approach the throne, amen, of God this morning, as we go to him in prayer, amen, knowing that we can cast all of our cares upon him simply because he cares for us. Amen. Amen. And so to know that we have a God that we can go to, amen, without without real cause or some scenario situation, it's just in a simple fact. We can go to him because I like to put it this way, because I need him. Amen. And, and do, do I have some witnesses that say, I know that you're right on that one, Bishop, because I need him for myself, amen, too. Don't we need him today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the Lord, amen. And so as we come to the throne of grace this morning, if there be any requests that you want to make known, amen, you don't have to tell us, but you sure enough can tell God. Can I go with this? And he will fix it. He will fix it for you. Amen. And as we share, amen, just a, a, a note about that prayer song, I need thee, amen, and we can come on, let's come toward the altar, amen, and we go together into the Lord in prayer, amen, if there's a name that you want to lift, amen, just say the name, amen, again, God hears, amen, amen. if there's a, 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 you know, a situation, amen, you just say, amen, Lord, I got a situation, Lord, fix it, amen. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell us. Amen. But our Bible tells us the God that hears in secret, he shall reward us openly. Amen. Hallelujah. As we come toward the altar, amen. As we come to the altar, I need the Yeah. 
certain situation that you want to take to the Lord in prayer, just raise your hand. Amen. You don't have to announce it. You don't have to speak it out. Amen. And if you have a name or someone in the family, loved one, you want to put on the throne of God, just lift that name in the elements. Amen. God hears. God sees. God knows. Can I get a witness? He knows all about it already. Amen. Just leave it to him. Give it to him. Lay it on the altar. Amen. And God will attend. Amen. God will fix it. Bless his name. Amen. Anyone oh, uh, not feeling well this morning might be a little ailing, ailing in our body. He's a, he is Dr. Jesus. Can I get a witness? Healing is in his hands. Bless his name. Amen. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you this morning. We thank you for a chance, another opportunity to be before a God, your throne, to come to your throne, oh God, with, with gratitude, first of all, thanksgiving on our hearts. Father, just being able to come again and to say thank you. We come again saying thank you, God, because you are and you have been, and I like the fact that you are right now a good God. Father God, we thank you so much for request your name so much for just being the God of love that you are, the God of mercy, the God of peace, the God of grace that you are towards us because, Lord, we have not done everything to keep your way holy, nor is our desire, but, Lord, we in this simple flesh, we fall sometimes, we stumble sometimes, but we bless your name that in your word you tell us, though we be, our sins be as scarlet, that you would wash us right in the snow, and though they be as crimson, you would wash us white in the snow. Your servant David knew it best because he messed up a few times. And so as David swore we, we come before your throne this morning, oh God, not begging and asking for anything, but we are asking that you would, in the humblest way we know how, forgive us right now for sins, oh God, of omission, sins of commission. Lord, we didn't mean to do it. Lord, we didn't mean to say it. We didn't mean to, oh God, not obey your will, your word, and your way. Lord, cleanse us right now from all of our iniquities, oh God. Deliver us, hallelujah, by your power, oh God. We want to please you. Our desire is to please you. And so, oh God, we come this morning. We're not perfect, but we are your servants, hallelujah. We are your people, oh God, and we stand in the need of prayer. It is me, it is me, it is me, oh Lord, and I'm standing. Hallelujah, in the need of prayer. As we stand around your altar this morning, a family in love, a family, oh God, one chain, oh God, one chain, a, a, a link, a link, a link, no weak links, but links, oh God, coupled together as your people, oh God, serving in this vineyard. We come, oh God, as we come, oh God, Master, asking, not begging for anything, but we are praying today and asking that you would fill us with your love. Hallelujah. We pray this morning that you will fill us with your grace. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray this morning that you will fill us with your love, oh God. We cannot serve you. We cannot praise you. We cannot worship your name in spirit nor in truth without your God, without your love in our hearts, without your love in our minds and spirits and hearts. Lord, again, we want to please you. We want to please you. Lord, let everything we say, let everything Everything we do, Lord, let it be pleasing unto you. We beg of you today, let our lives, hallelujah, bring glory. Let our lives bring glory. Let our lives bring glory to your name. Lord, we bless you for another Sunday. We bless you for another Sabbath day. Lord, you woke us this morning in our right minds. We may not have been the best in our health. Needs helping. Knees hurting, oh God. Feet aching. Uh, 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 knees cracking and backs cracking. And, uh, but Lord, you gave us you gave us a reasonable portion of health and strength. You gave us on top of that a right mind and a good mind to come to your house and to give your name the praise and to give your name the glory which is all due you. Lord, you've been so good. You've been so kind. You kept us all week, another week, in the midst of all that's going around us that we cannot control, but you kept us. And we bless your name for keeping us. 
we bless your name for being a good God unto us. A God that only you can ever be. Now, God, we pray that you move through the pews right now. Touch. Touch right now by your power. Touch by your spirit, oh God. The, 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 my, my member, my, 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 my loved one that I'm standing next to. I don't know what they need. I don't know what they got going on. But Lord, I pray I lift them up to you today. I lift them up to you today that whatever they stand in need of, that you would intercede on their behalf. That you would intercede on their behalf. Lord, we're one body. Lord, we're one body. We're one body. We're striving to be like-minded. We're one body, God. And we're striving to be like-minded. And that like-mindedness is to have the mind of you. That like-mindedness is to have the mind of you. Lord, continue to teach us your will and your way. Continue to lead, guide, and direct us the way you would have us go. But we want to please you. We want to please you. Then, oh God, we ask that you would just continue to bless our ministry. Lord, bless our church. Lord, that you would use us truly for your glory and for your honor. Lord, allow Bless your name, Cedar Grove, to be that beacon light that you've always made and had it to be. Even in the times of the days of old, oh God, we pray for a fresh and a new anointing. We pray for a fresh and a new anointing. We pray for a fresh and a new anointing over this house, over those that serve in it. In your precious mighty name we pray. Lord, we love you. Can't get along without you. And lastly, we ask that you bless all of our loved ones. Those that should be, want to be, can't be. Those that ain't trying to be and ain't thinking about being. Bless them too. Bless your people, oh God. Every family represented in Cedar Grove. Every uh, um, church uh, um, member, every church um, member's family members. Lord, touch your people abroad and even near. Lord, that we will be pleasing in your sight. That we will go into be that, 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 that church that you are calling for us to be. And Lord, we will be continually and we will be careful to give your name the praise. We will be careful to give your name all glory. We will be careful to give your name all praise, which is due you. We will be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor that's due it. And we show forth by putting our hands together and say, Amen. Come on, let's help. Amen. Let's worship him. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Amen is our prayer. Amen. The Bible records and it tells us very plainly. It says, will a man rob God? It doesn't say, it doesn't answer, but we all know the answer. Amen. 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 <laughs> will a man rob God? Yet he have robbed me, he said. Wherewith has wherewith has we robbed me? He said, in tithes and in offering. Yes, yes. He said, for this your curse, with a curse, even yes. the whole generation. Then he comes going a little further, Mama B. He said, Prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven, yes. pour you out a blessing, yes. that you won't have room enough to receive. What does that mean? Plain, plain English, that means trust God. Yeah. Somebody say trust God. Trust God. Number two, take him at his word. Say take him at his word. Amen. And see if God will not be God and supply your needs Hallelujah. for you. Because that's what he promised us. Amen. Hallelujah. I said that's what he promised us. Amen. Yeah. Give us this day yes. our daily bread. Amen. That's what he said he'll do. Yes. Amen. But if we 
obey him. This conjunction, we, we want him to do ours, but we don't want to do his. Amen. 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 Trust God. Take him at his word and see if God will not. Amen. Open the doors of heaven, the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing Amen. that you shall not have room enough to receive. Mama's coming now. Amen. And she's coming. <laughs>
morning, we thank you and we give your name glory, honor, and praise. Now, God, as we come to the point and the time that we are to lift your name in word and in deed, we pray now that you will bless the word to the hearts of your people, bless the word to the ear of your people, bless the word to the hearts of your people. Father God, we cannot preach. Oh God, we cannot pray, we cannot sing, we cannot worship until your anointing, until your power comes. And so now, God, we usher and ask that you would, oh God, send your spirit right now. God, send your spirit, send your spirit, send your anointing even now, God. Let your anointing rest on this written, even now spoken word, oh God. Let it be, oh God, a word that will embellish in the hearts of your people. Let it not return void, but let it go forth and accomplish that which it set out to do. Lord, we pray of as we have sent, did the mechanics, you now send the dynamics. Live, breathe, oh God, upon this word today, that your people will be blessed, that they be edified, that they be encouraged through your word today. Me, a servant, least of all, Lord, but I pray and ask even now that you forgive me from all my sins, anything that I've done, omittedly or commission or omission. Lord, I pray that you forgive me even now. I pray, oh God, that you would hide me beneath your cross. Let your blood fully flow upon me that I stand not in the image of myself, but I will stand totally and completely in me. And in my failure, Lord, I do know this, that I can do all things through you who strengthens me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. And we will be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, the honor is all to you. It's in your blessed name we pray. Every heart said amen. 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 God bless you this morning. Amen. You, 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 my kind, Auntie. You, 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 I bless you, Auntie. Psalm of David, Amen. Psalm 138, and this psalm is related to the Lord being a faithful God, Amen. How many know our God is a faithful God, Amen. He is a faithful God. This passage of Scripture, David is 
letting, letting it be known that truly he is a faithful God. <clears throat> a faithful God. Verse 1 reads this way. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord. For great is the Lord. For great is the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. For not forsake not the worst of thine own hands. May God, amen, add blessings to the reading and the hearing and to the receiving of his holy and precious word. I do believe this to be the word of God. I present it to us this morning in that fashion. I embrace the words of scripture where the gospel writer records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word, someone say the word. The word, the word of our God shall stand and shall last forever. And I believe that today. And if you believe that along with me, let's just lift our hand to God and wave it to him like, yeah, real simple and tell him that's in agreement and say even this day. Even this day. Even this day. Amen. For, uh, for subject matter this morning, let's tag this uh, passage of scripture. Uh, let's, let's tag it. David um, suggestively related to it as being uh, a song that's relating to the fact that the Lord is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Let's tag it. Let's tag it for ourselves, though. Amen. Let's make it personal for ourselves. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you why in a second. Let's let's tag it by suggesting. Say with me this way: The Lord. Lord. Our, Lord Our Lord is, is a, faithful God. a faithful God. Make that personal. I, I, make it personal for yourself. You know, say it where you you feel it for yourself. The Lord, Lord. Our, Lord, Our Lord is, is a faithful God. How many know he's truly faithful today? Amen. Is he truly a faithful God? Yeah. Has he been a faithful God in your life? Can I get a witness this morning? Lord, the Lord, the Lord, our Lord is a faithful God. Jumping into this text real quick, I ain't going to be with you long, I promise. Amen. Um, I love David and I love the book of Psalms, the entire book of Psalms, because <clears throat> the book of Psalms is a particular book of the Bible that has its own follow with me amen the book of Psalms has its own perspective mm. we have 66 books in the whole Bible amen? amen and out of the whole 66 books amen this one book it has truly its own perspective amen 
Why do you say that, Bishop? Well, I say that because um, the book itself of Psalms is written by, watch this now, a man that has a true perspective. Amen. The man who penned, the man who authored, the man who wrote um, the book of Psalms, the man that, amen, the events of his life um, make up a grand portion of the book of Psalms, that same man, bless God, uh, I suggest to us this morning that he was a, a man of a, uh, a particular perspective within his own rights. Can I get an amen there? Amen. How so, Bishop? How you, say, how you say that? Well, I say that because the Bible declares to us that David is not just any Joe Blow from Kokomo. David, David is not just anybody. Yes. Why you say that like that, Bishop? Because he's not. Amen. David is not just another guy in the Bible. Amen. David is not just another name in Scripture. David is not just another individual that we find live in the Bible days. And he got a book in the Bible named uh, named uh, the Psalms that he named it with stuff in his life and uh, stuff that he wrote and put in it. David is much more than that. Say he's much more than that. David, bless God, is an individual, bless God's name, that has a particular perspective about his own self. Yeah. How so, you ask? Well, let me help you because um, if we would relate and recall that the Bible um, declares, God declares his particular perspective because out of all the people in the Bible and out of all people in the Bible God could have chosen and also reflected upon. He chose watch this, to reflect upon the life of this same young man, the same man David here, amen. And God, watch this, God put a certain special particularity on this young guy named David's whole life. Hallelujah. His whole life was in a special and particular place. Yeah. How so, you ask? I'm glad you didn't ask. Yeah. At a tender age, uh -huh. you want particularity? I'll give you, I'll give you particularity. I said at a, at a, at a tender age, mm -hmm. God had already appointed David. At a tender age, Sister Miriam, God had already, watch this, had a made and devised a plan for David's entire life. Yeah. We do know the Bible tells us and it was David that penned it, that it was predestined that even in my mother's womb that I would be that which God had called me to be. David learned to find out real early in life in his life that what I am and am to be is all to the glory. Yeah. Can I get somebody to say amen? It's all to the glory of God. I did, I did not do anything but me. Yeah, right. Yes. Who he allowed me to be. At a tender age. Watch this. He was already in a particular perspective. Why? Because God had his hand on him. And because he had planned. Yes, yes. Somebody say he had planned. Yes, yes. He had a plan for David's life. Yes. And the good part about that, Mama Jerry, I like is that when God has his hand on us. Yes. It ain't nothing. Come on, talk back to me. When God, hallelujah, has his hands on us, there is nothing that the devil can do. Now, he'll try. I said he'll try. He'll try to negate you, amen. He'll try to make you slip, amen. He'll try to, he'll try. See, the good part of, the real part about that is he, the devil exposes himself, how huh, Bishop? Because he shows how much he is not like God or equal to God at all. God is only omnipresent. God is only omnipotent. God is only omniscient. In other words, God is the only omni. The devil ain't got no omni in him whatsoever at all. He can't even be everywhere at the same time. He got to have help. That's the demons and the imps. You know, they, they, they're his little runners. They, they run to do 
through his bidding for him. Can I get a witness? He, he limited. He can't do it all. He, he ain't no match for God. Yes. David had some particular perspective about his life. Amen. Even, even at a tender age. How so? Prove it in the word. Book of Samuel, amen, teaches us, tells us that, amen, uh, 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 the, the, the prophet, Samuel, mm -hmm. God spoke to him, told him to go to, go to, uh, go to uh, uh, Jesse's house. Because one of his boys, I'm about to make king of Israel. Saul has said it. Saul has fallen. Mm -hmm. Saul has fallen from grace. Yes, Lord. Saul has lost my anointing and my spirit upon his life. Isn't it a sad thing to be, lose the anointing, lose the spirit of God out of your life? Yes, yes. I mean, you're talking about a miserable life to lose the anointing of God, the spirit. Let's go here. Just the, the mere presence of God out of our life. Who would want to live that life without the spirit, the presence of God in it? I know not me. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Bible said that Saul had fallen. Yes. God rejected him. Yes. It's a whole nother other to have been, watch this, accepted by God as well as chosen of God, but it's a whole other thing when that whole same rejection and that, that whole uh, 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 anointment that God gave you gets stripped away. Yes. Amen. I, I don't think none of us want him to strip us. Amen. Amen. I said, I don't think none of us wants him to strip us Amen. of his spirit nor of his anointing over our lives. Hallelujah. David's particularity was in a, in a tender tenderness of his age, and therefore, ever since after after this this special thing was done on David's life, everything about his life had another perspective about it. How so? Bible says that God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house because one of his sons was going to be the new king of Israel. Hallelujah! It was going to be God's. It was it was God's choice. Ooh. To who was going to bring leadership to Israel. Amen. Now the good part about it is that when the prophet was probably down the side of Samuel got there, he said, uh, Jesse, how can I help you? He said, well, the Bible, God told me that to come here with my horn uh, of sacrifice of oil um, that would adorn and uh, that would uh, uh, anoint the new king of Israel. And he said that one of your sons is king. Hmm. Imagine the, the, the happiness, the excitement, the glee on Jesse's, you know, face. Oh, one of my songs? Mm -hmm. Jeff probably got all, all brody out. Amen. Excited. That, that would have been a good news. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. So the story says, had all these boys, mm -hmm. had a number of nice, strong, robust men. Amen. Nice, keen looking, keen looking like men. Yes, yes. All of them, Mama B, look kingly. Yes, that's right. Bible said that Samuel told them to come before him. And he held the, the, the vial, the oil over him. And he, and he said that the one that the oil runs down, Hallelujah. he'll be God's choice Amen. of a king. Yes, yes. Bible said that he lined them up and he held the oil, the oil the horn over there, but the oil did not. Uh -huh. Run. Yeah, brought them all. Brought them all. Well, well you, you, you got to have another. Well, this, this, this one last one. He, but, but that, 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 I can't. It ain't no bad for him. And he came, last one. Oil didn't run. Something wrong. Something wrong. Simon said it's because God told me. And see, when God tells you something, Chantel. Jesse, yes. God 
God said, not me. God said. Someone said God said. God said one of your sons is his choice. His choice of a man. It's choice of a king. Hallelujah. Oh, it's people, Israel. You must have surely another son. You're missing out. Well, no, no more. But oh, uh, 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 maybe, maybe one of the other brothers might have, you know, rather, you know, might have spoken. Well, David, he's our brother. Oh, David, who was that? Oh, he's nobody. What do you mean he's nobody? Is he your child? Is he your son? Yeah, he's not. He's nobody. He's not these boys. He's not king. Look, he's not king. He's not even king thought about. Let's don't look that. Look to look that. He's a just a little grubby, oh my, he's my youngest and oldest. He's just a grubby little shepherd boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say the grubby. Oh. Go, go fetch him. Yes. Simon said, go fetch him. Yes. Bring him to me. Yes. You know the rest of the story, they brought David. They brought David, when David came in front of Samuel, he said that the Bible speaks in one text, one, 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 one text he said that the, when he, be, almost before he held the, the horn over his head, it suggested that the horn, the, the oil leaked out. Y'all talk back to me here. One scripture said, it profusely poured out. I mean, it came out. Hallelujah. Why? Because this was God's choice. Yes, yes. What I'm making there is simply when you and your life is hidden in Christ, in God, here it is for you. The devil can't do nothing with you, honey. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He would wish he could, but he can't do nothing with you when your life is under God's care. When your life is under God's blessings. When your I'll keep them in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on me? How can if your mind stay on God, the devil can't do nothing with you. Hallelujah. He only can do something with you when you put yourself on his territory. Can I get a witness? When you get, watch this, this is how it works. When you get, when you come from under the blessings, when you come from under the anointing, when you come from under his spirit, when you reject his power. What you done? You set yourself up as open prey. Yes, yes. Don't you remember when Jesus, when God saw him walking up to and fro with the, I'm in the midst of the earth, and God said, "What? Well, where goes thou, Satan?" God already knew. Okay. He said, "What you doing? Where you going?" He said, "I'm walking up to and fro, yes, yes. up and down in the earth, yes. seeking yes, yes. whom I may devour." What the Bible say? And then he came back with it. God already had him. God put him already. He was in a chokehold and didn't even know it. He said, uh-uh, 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 uh, -uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. And guess what? Uh, I done took notice to your boy Joe. Mm. I tell you what. If you take your head from around him, I'll make your old Joe curse you to your face. Hallelujah. Yes. When your life mm. is hidden in Christ and God. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing the devil can do with you. Can I get a witness? Why so? Because our God, our Lord, He is a faithful God. Why can't He do nothing with us, Mike? Because our Lord and our God, He is a faithful God. He's faithful, Mama B, to what He promised. Can I get a witness? He's faithful, hallelujah, to what He said He would do. He's faithful to what he promised. In the six trials, I will not forsake you. In the seventh, I will know why it's cast you out. I suggest God is faithful to his word. Can I get a witness? He's faithful to every promise that he said he would do. Every promise that he declared in his word. You can't book it. Why? Because you can depend on God.
that only God and God only God, can I get a witness, was only able to bring him out of. David sure enough understood about the faithfulness of God. And as I leave you this morning, I want to leave you in the idea of the fact that not only uh, was he or is he a, a, a faithful God to David, but how many know this morning that he's also a faithful God to us? Yes. Hallelujah. He said, all your sins be as scarlet. He said, I will wash them whiter than snow. Though they be as crimson, I will wash them whiter than snow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Talking about him being a, a faithful God, he said that I am the Lord thy God. I change it not. I'm the same yesterday. I'm the same today. And I A faithful God. Can I get a witness? Show up. Show up. He's faithful because he's faithful because he said that even while you were in sin, shaping in iniquity, he said that I got a plan for your life. Yeah. 
Yes, I have. Have you been to wash today? Have you been to wash today? I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I've been set free. No more chains holding me. I'm living for God. I'm set free. He who the Son has set free is free indeed. Can I get any help today? Are you free today? Are you free today? Are you free in Jesus? Are you free today? Are you free? Have you been washed? Look at your neighbor and tell him, honey, I've been washed. Hallelujah. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Aren't you glad today? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So glad, so glad. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Yes. I'm so glad that I got a faithful God. I got a faithful God. I got a faithful God. I got a faithful God, and He's fighting for me. He's making intercession, Sister Miriam. I said He's making intercession, Mama Yvonne. He's making intercession. When I mess up, Mama B, he go to his daddy and say, forgive him again. Yeah. Aren't you glad that he ain't a God of a second chance? Because if it was only two, we'd be done. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He's a God. Yeah. That makes him a faithful God. Can I get a witness? I said that makes him a faithful God. God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love you today. Yes, yes. Lord, we love you today. Yes, we love you today. Yes, Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your word. That teaches us that we serve a faithful God. Thank you for being a faithful God. One that looks beyond our faults and sees to our needs. Thank you. Oh, bless your name. Thank you for being a faithful God. A God of love, joy and peace, long suffering, patience, meekness, tenderness. Thank you for being a faithful God. Let not your word return for it, but let it accomplish that what it set out to do. We believe that all in the ark of safety today, we bless your name for that. We say hallelujah that all in the ark of safety. But we do pray that your word will encourage us. We pray that your word will encourage us right now. That it will apply to our lives. Yes. That it would strengthen us. Yes. Fortify us in the inward man. Hallelujah. That we will continue to word, walk, and run this race with patience. Yes. While we look unto you, Hallelujah. the faithful and the loving Arthur yes. and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. We give you name, glory, yes. honor, and praise. Yes, Lord. It's in your blessed name we pray. Let every heart say amen. amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Say amen one more time. Amen. amen. And amen. How many enjoyed the word today? Mm -hmm.